Hey, what's up, guys? It's late. I'm bored and having trouble sleeping. My schedule has been really weird lately, so I figured I'd just get on here and make a quick little tip tutorial type video on a programming trick that I've been using a little bit lately to. Here, I'll pull up the screen. Cool. So I use this to make uh, color presets that are kind of like this kind of look like split colors and banning and stuff so I'll kind of go through how I do that uh, I haven't set up my little key macros for OBS so uh, I'm just gonna be switching it back and forth that might get annoying but sorry whatever okay so all right here's kind of how I would go about this it's pretty simple um so uh I use a little trick that I learned from a Christian Jackson video on making uh, presets for positions out of effects, and I pretty much just translate that over to colors. Um, yeah, because the one thing I use CamSys a lot as well, uh, CamSys Magic Q, uh, as well as Granime, and uh, one feature that I really like with CamSys is they have included uh, group cues. And those allow you to also be able to use the fan function for not only positions and like dimmer, but you can also use it for colors and just select two colors and fan and hit symmetrical or something. And you're able to get nice symmetrically like fan color uh, palettes is what they call them on campuses. So uh, this is just how I would go about that. So I have these fan color generators, uh, they're just effects that I have with a um, Speedmaster, and I have that Speedmaster routed, where do I have that? I have that routed somewhere, I think it's on my fixed page actually, so I'm going to select that, uh, yeah, so I'm on my fixed page, and I'm going to find that Speedmaster that's right here. Uh, so I'll show how I set these up really quick. So these are the effects. They're really just, they're simple color effects. It's just RGB. Or, so basically I'll just go through it. I'll make another one, I guess, really quick just to show how I do that. But I just go here. Nope, I'm on macros on it. Yep. Don't really know how I did that. Oh. Yeah, I have a macro down here, effects over here. That's funny. Okay, so I just add an effect, and I just do color, uh, select all, and I will just get rid of everything that I'm not going to use, which is this stuff. Um, I really just like to use the color RGB, that stuff, and because usually I'm only really doing this with RGB and CMY fixers anyways, and then, uh, like, like this file, I have some beams in there that I'll just go through, and if I want to match them, I'll just go through and manually do that because it's usually a lot quicker than trying to find some workaround. So, yeah, I'll just do the RGB values and I will just leave interleaves and quantity and all that stuff how it is. And if I'm trying to make a symmetrical one, I'll just do simply just wings at two and yeah, don't worry about groups or blocks or anything. You can mess with that if you want, but uh, for this purpose, I don't have a reason. And uh, so the, then I'll route a Speedmaster, and I have a color fan speed, is what I have it called. And I just have that as an executor over here. Uh, how you make that, if you don't already know, you'll just store an empty queue, and you'll just go up here. And you will do a uh, special master and go find your speed masters and route a new speed master. And there you go. So now I have a speed master. I can name it whatever I'd like. So if I wanted to name it Fast Boy or something. Then I can go over here back to my effect and I can route these guys to Fastball Way.
and boom. So what I'll usually do is I will just, I won't have that on usually. I'll usually have it stopped and uh, I'll just slightly kind of move it in if I want to move my uh, color preset to look a little different. So I'll just show how that would work. Uh, I'm going to delete this and just show you with the other one. I promise everything is made the exact same. It's really simple effect. And uh, yeah, so I'll go back to my both screens on here and minimize that. So uh, basically, this rig is. Oh, I also have to change my screen. Sorry. Um, solely because I need to move this executor over to page 21, I believe. Interesting. Okay. Um, let's copy that and go to here. But cool. That works for me. Uh, it's just a position. And oh, actually, my bad. I am out here struggling right now. So we'll just call this our on. You, I guess, and that's just gonna put us in a position where we can see all the colors and all the lights that we are gonna be using as they're on. So, this is just obviously the fixtures, and here are our speed masters. I'm going to make the speed master fast boy because I'm trying to use that, and I don't want to clutter up my final file more than I already am. So, yeah, cool. Uh, so on my layout, we have uh Pretty much, I just made these groups to uh, have just each group that I want to apply this effect to. Uh, so I have top profiles, which are up here, uh, bottom profiles, which are down here, top washes, which are up here, and bottom washes, which are up here. All of your RGB or CMY values. So basically, all I'll do to create these uh, presets is I'll just select a fixture. Go in and edit my uh, my effect, and I'll choose the colors I'd like to use for this. So I'll just go in here and use cyan and pink. And so yeah, that's affecting those fixtures. You can kind of see them up there. And then we'll do that to the next set of fixtures we want to do, and we can do it to the next one and the next one. And look at that, we have a really solid looking preset. And let's say I kind of want to move the cyan to the outside a little more and the pink more to the inside. So I can just go to my uh, my Speedmaster over here and just kind of slowly move them a little bit so that we change the values. I like to keep my Speedmaster pretty slow so that I can subtly move it. And let's say this is kind of what I like right here. So we can save that. And this is where you can't just save it like a normal preset. You actually have to go here, go to store. You have to hold it down and it'll bring you into the, stem the temporary store options. And in here you want to select output. And what this will do, will, it will not take your programmer values. Instead it will take, because if you took your programmer values, it would there wouldn't be anything in the programmer color wise for it to take because it's running an effect it's not running your uh, colors off of the programmer so you, you want to take the physical output and then all for selected because we have those fixtures selected and they're not technically active in uh, queue storage so we'll hit those and we'll just select a bank and we'll call that to cyan, I suppose, and we'll go back here, we'll select all our fixtures, and we'll hit our preset, and look at that. Oh, actually the profiles didn't match up, I must not have those selected, but simply, you can just do this again, press that, do the same thing, and...
merge. And look at that, we got the circle. Good indicator that something has changed. And look at that, we have a really solid looking preset. Um, yeah, so hopefully this is a helpful video. And uh, with that, I'll link Christian Jackson's video that I was talking about earlier with the uh, position presets because that is a super useful tool. I use it a lot when I'm busting and producing the show. So hopefully this helps. Uh, thanks for watching.